Okay, Goody Good has a swollen body. You can see all of this fluid that is accumulating in her, around her legs, on her chest, in her abdomen, down here. There's a lot of, lot of re retained free fluid that is uh, in her lymph system. And she has, uh, she's fighting a vaginal infection as well as uh, failing kidneys. And uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm just manipulating this fluid that has gathered in her legs. You can see the difference in the diameter of these two. I've reduced this one. It used to be like this, all fat with pitting edema. And what I did was I just gradually squeezed it and squeezed it and squeezed it and worked all of that fluid up in up into this shoulder area and so I'm gonna do that with this one as well just work it and knead it and just get that fluid to travel up into the main part of her body and then hopefully there'll be a good uh, therapeutic exchange in that uh, lymphedema uh, system in the lymph system to uh, get rid of this infection that she's fighting. But she has failing kidneys and she just is not able to process all of the fluid that she needs. She needs the fluid every day. She gets sub-Q fluids and intravenous fluids every two weeks. But she has just reached a fail point where she cannot, her kidneys cannot process the fluid efficiently or sufficiently. And so she will pass here in a few weeks. But uh, we're doing all we can to just keep her around and enjoy her and give her at least a decent quality of life in the last few weeks and days of her life. So she also has in the back rear leg here, she has a large amount of edema. And so I'm doing the same thing with this leg, massaging it, working that fluid that's trapped in her tissues here in her lymph system working it back up into her main body area so that it, it will get dispersed and hopefully not cause her so much pain with her uh, legs and her extremities we don't want her to get uh, oh an, an infection in one of her limbs we don't want her to get uh, to where the infection in the size of her limbs gets to be where it uh, damages her. We want to keep her limbs free if we can of that fluid as much as we can. It's going to accumulate overnight and it, when she uses her body, when she gets up and uses her legs, her body to walk around. But right now she's very weak. And so we're just doing what we can for her. This is kidney disease, folks. And uh, so do what you can for your dog, and if you want to see what uh, kidney disease entails, you can see right here, these are all of the different lactated ringer bags that we've been uh, giving her for the past just two or three weeks. She gets uh, probably six to eight of these per week. These are one liter bags of lactated ringer. She gets sub-Q and intravenous. She gets sub-Q six days a week, intravenous maybe two days, out of every two weeks. So, anyway. I love you, Goody. I love you, honey. I love you. You're such a good dog. Because you're good, we named you good. And because we named you good, we called you good. Because you're just good. I love you, baby. Forever and ever, honey. Yes.